Bringing plants into my home has brought a sense of stillness to my life and gives me a connection to nature. Taking care of them has helped me slow down, become more mindful and patient with growth. And it's a hobby that takes me away from the busy buzz of my digital devices. Hello, I'm Matthew Encina, and in this video, I'll take you through a tour of my home and the plants in it. I'll highlight some of my favorite ones and share the names of all of them in the description below. Before I begin, I want to thank Bloomscape for sponsoring this video. The living room is a space I recently updated and have been spending a lot of time in, so I've been adding more plants in here lately. Starting with the snake plant that I moved into this low light area. Unlike others, the snake plant can survive with very little light and water. I like it because its long dark leaves help break up the horizontal lines of the space and add contrast to the white walls of the room. On the other side of the media console is a golden pothos. This long hanging plant loves this west facing window and crawls down visually to a few friends below. On the shelf, I have a philodendron birkin and a peperomia piper. Below that is my favorite corner of the living room. Here I have a beautiful Monstera deliciosa that is thriving in this corner. Plants tend to grow in the direction of the light, so to get this to grow evenly all around, I rotate the pot every time I water it. Behind that is another snake plant, another species of peperomia, and a zizi plant which also has been loving this corner because it's been sprouting new leaves here every couple of weeks. Tucked away behind the TV is a small fiddle leaf fig. I'd like to display this plant somewhere better, but I haven't found a good spot for it yet. Opposite of that is an Aurelia Ming. I bought this because it looks like a miniature tree that you might find in a tropical forest. The latest additions to my collection are these two beautiful prayer plants. I'm told these can be rather challenging to take care of because they require a higher humidity than most plants. I've been catering to them with a small diffuser nearby until I find a better solution. I wanted to challenge myself with these plants to see if I can take on more advanced care plants in the future. On the other side of the living room, I recently installed a closet rod into the ceiling to hang a few plants on. If you want to build your own, I've linked the tutorial in the description for you. Hanging on the rod are two different species of Hoyas. Each of these have unique patterns on their leaves and will tend to grow up on things or hang low depending on what its vines can grab a hold of. Next to that is an Enjoy Pothos, which is growing nice and long here in this spot. Then there's this Hartley Philodendron, which I really like because of its saturated green waxy leaves. Behind that is a Silvery Ann, which I've had for almost a year and is finally starting to get some length growing down. Scattered throughout the rest of the living room, I have a few more plants, including this Moonshine Snake Plant, which is tucked away in a low light shelf. Before we continue, I wanted to briefly thank the sponsor of this video, Bloomscape, which you might know for delivering healthy indoor plants right to your door. Recently, they've launched their Bloom Kits, a mix of flowers and foliage that are a convenient way to get your outdoor areas ready for the spring. Bloom Kits are customizable and include a variety of springtime plants. You can also add on containers, tools, and supplies to make setup easy and to keep your plants thriving through the season. Depending on where you live, you can buy now and wait to plant later if you live in an area with frost. Visit bloomscape.com or click the link in the description and use code MATTHEWENCINA for 20% off your first plant order of $100 or more. Now back to the plant tour. In my office, I have a huge south-facing door that gets plenty of filtered light in it throughout the day. I only have a few plants in here, but I have a feeling my growing hobby might slowly take over the shelves I've built in here. At the beginning of the year, I got this mini Monstera. These like to grow rapidly and climb up on things, so I gave it the stake to climb on, which I'll probably have to replace with a taller one soon. Below that is a vibrant little succulent, and a Peperomia Rosso, which has an incredible two-tone color to it. I also have this propagated Monstera that's been cut from the one I have in my living room. This one was originally doing well in my bedroom, but because it's getting warmer, the sun intensity in there started to yellow the leaves, so I moved them here for a more gentle light. Up on my shelves, I have a few more plants that I hope will continue to grow long to visually break up the horizontal lines of my room. I also have another species of Peperomia here, which I'm slowly nursing back to health. Moving over to my bedroom, another area I've been adding more plants to, 
This part of the house gets the most amount of light in it, coming from two huge southwest facing windows. To make space, I installed another hanging rod into the ceiling. On it, I have a large purple spiderwort plant, which has grown so quickly and has just taken over this pot. Next is this bonnie spider plant, which has these fun curly leaves on it. Moving down the line is this neon philodendron that has an intense bright color that almost glows in this light. Next to that is a string of hearts, which gets its name from the shape of its leaves. I'm hoping this one will grow long and lush in this space. The last one hanging here is a marble queen pothos. I love this variation of the plant because of its beautiful variegated white and green pattern on its leaves. Adjacent to the hanging rod, I installed this maple shell from Grovemade to host a few plants I've propagated and planted here. Hanging next to it is a philodendron Brazil, which is known for its distinct colored leaves. Below that on my side table is a velvet philodendron, another Hoya, and a snake plant that I've been propagating in water for a few months now. You can see that these have rooted nicely and have a few babies in here already. On the ground is a philodendron Shangri-La. This species has an amazing leaf design and can get huge over time if you take care of it. Next to that is a dumb cane plant, which I got at the beginning of the year and has grown significantly over the past four months. I like this for its lush leaves and the intricate pattern. Another recent addition to my collection is this Hoya obovata. These have beautiful deep green oval shaped leaves with little flecks of white on it. In this corner I also have two species of rubber plants. The first hasn't grown too much over the past two years that I've had it, so I think I need to add more nutrients or repot it with fresh soil to stimulate it. The second rubber plant is a burgundy variant, which on the other hand is thriving here. Lastly in this space, I have a pair of narrow shelves that I've been using as a propagation wall, collecting trimmings from my larger plants, which I'm growing in small jars of water to be planted after they've rooted and matured. The last two plants I own are currently isolated outside. These two were so unique and I've never seen them elsewhere at my local shops. Unfortunately, they had some signs of spider mites, so I've been treating them out here until they're clear of infestations. And that concludes my houseplant tour. I haven't always been a good plant parent and I've killed my fair share early on because I didn't know how to properly care for them. But lately, I've been researching, studying, and cataloging all of my plants to make sure they have a good home to thrive in. I'm considering making a future video about plant care tips and possibly sharing my plant catalog database. If you'd find that useful, let me know in the comments below or ask me a question and I'll do my best to answer them. For now, I've left the names and links to all the plants featured here in the description in case you're considering them for yourself. With that out of the way, it's time to get back to work. <laughs>